What's going on, guys? It is Zach. Um, I decided to do something a little different today um, because I, uh, well, I, the, the only thing I ever play anymore is Final Fantasy X uh, because I'm trying to keep content going, uh, and I know I missed a day of videos, and I feel bad about that. Um, but John and I will be getting together. In fact, when you are watching this video, we will have already gotten together, or we'll be getting together. So... That's all good and fine and dandy. So I decided that I would take a little break from Final Fantasy X uh, and uh, show you some League footage uh, because League of Legends is my game. Now, mind you, I am bronze. I am bronze four. And for those of you who are not necessarily as update on League as some others, that is the lowest rank. Well, second lowest rank. The lowest rank is bronze five. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm not the greatest in the world. Uh, I definitely can't carry a team. Um, I don't think I deserve to be in bronze, but I'm not gonna like bro like preach that. Um, I'm here because I'm not good enough to get out yet. <clears throat> so I figured I would play a game and I would show you guys uh, how I did. Oh, and that sound you just heard was I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the background. While well, I was waiting for the queue, because that's what you do when you wait for the queue, is you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so yeah, so we are just getting ready for the game here. A um, little bit of a spoiler. This game was really, really good. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to say that I personally was, like, incredible, but it was a really good game for me. So, uh, and I'll get into it all when we get there. I don't want to, like, give anything away too much. Um, but I think some of it was luck. I think some of it was, I almost just tried to click this. I'm, I'm, I'm watching a pre-recorded video. This is, I'm recording this voiceover afterward. Um, so I got jungle. Uh, I wanted to play mid. Azir is who I claim to main. Um, and I was going to play Talon that game just because I also am decent with Talon. Um, but I got jungle and I decided to go Shaco. Let me tell you why. Uh, I was reading somewhere that a lot of bronze players get tilted very easily. And if you can win early game, then generally you can win the game because they'll be tilted and they won't. You know, If you can get a steady lead or a, a nice handy lead in, in the beginning of the game, um, generally they'll all flame out and <clears throat> they'll, either, uh, they'll either surrender or you'll just demolish them late game because they can't catch up because bronze. Uh, so I decided to play Shaco, the uh, ultimate <laughs> in early game junglers, uh, and I think it was a good choice. I think you guys will agree. <clears throat> um, and I think I pull up my rune page at some point, and if I do, I'll show you how I play him. Um, but <laughs> yeah, uh, I meant to say ye. My finger slipped on the R. Um, I play him Smite Ignite. I think a lot of people do. Uh, I also go Wild Card Shaco. Because that is the only Shaco, and how dare you say otherwise? Uh, no, that's not true. I, I I go wild card Shaco on a regular basis because I think he's the most dangerous looking skin out of all of them, um, and also wild card cards. I'm a magician, so there you go. And I know what you're saying, hey Zach, if you're a magician, why don't you play Twisted Fate? And to that I say he sucks. So anyway, <laughs> he I look here's the deal. He's not bad. I just I'm not awesome with him. So, um. So I don't. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so looking at this team comp right away, uh, it's decent. Not incredibly tanky, but we got a Tom Kench, who's been doing pretty well. Uh, we got a Trindamir, who just is good. We got an Ari mid. Not a lot of bronze players know how to play Ari, but it's fine. Uh, same with Jin, but Jin is a good damage output. So basically, what I'm thinking here is okay, who am I up against? Aurelia's brand new in terms of her update, so she's going to be really good and kind of broken right now. Um, Master Yi is pretty quick in the jungle, but also is bronze, so who knows. Uh, Aurelia is, has a decent mid game, so I might be able to abuse that. Um, and Morgana's going to be solid in bot lane. So right now I'm kind of, not like nervous, but I'm kind of thinking, All right, I don't know where to go with this. Um, my goal was to get through red, um, go up to blue, and see what happens, see if I can take on the Master Yi, because, again, shaco has got that early game, just annihilation <laughs> pretty early on, so I wasn't too incredibly worried about it. Um, and then 
my goal was to see how bot lane was doing because Tom Kent's Jin, it's a good combo. So if I can keep Morgana under control, then uh, Misfortune should go down pretty quickly. Um, and we're good from there. Uh, I uh, I use another app uh, while playing this. I don't know if it shows up. We're about, we're about to find out if it shows up in... I guess it doesn't. Um, but I use a, one of those league apps. Uh, it's called Trophy Hunter. Uh, shout out to Trophy Hunter. Um, and they... Uh, it, just, it just gives you some information about the people who are playing um, and some of the things they're good at. So like I noticed... You know, again, it doesn't show up here because it's only showing the uh, the league screen, um, and that's technically a different window. So it's not why it's not showing up here. Um, but I was seeing that like you know Aurelia was actually pretty good. Um, Akali, I could take advantage of a little bit, and things like that. Um, so yeah, just the normal setup stuff. I also get really discouraged when uh, when like I, I don't see the like mastery badges on my team screen uh, it it's a little bit unsettling just just because you know I want to know that you know what you're doing with your champion before we jump into the game so yeah, so uh, usual Shaco stuff. Got my Hunter's Machete, got my uh, refillable potions. Start with my W so I can pop those up all over red buff and get the solo first buff in like seconds. Um, nothing fancy. And I think I, I think I put the first Jack in the Box down late. Um, yeah, I put it down like, what is that, four seconds late? Yeah. Um, which is whatever. You know, it's... Uh, I, I like to put it down a little bit later than everybody else because uh, you get two fears off. Um, the first fear is um, off of all three of them, but it doesn't stack. But then after that fear, if you've got another one, you can pop it down right away, and then that'll give you another one. So it, it's not as quick because you don't have four of them hitting at all times, but you take like no damage at all. And you don't have to work as hard on the kiting. I need to learn how to kite better in the jungle. I really, I just do. Uh, and then Jin's here helping out. But, <laughs> uh, he doesn't do too much. It's Jin. Um, I know what beauty truly is. It's it's my girlfriend. Ha ha! He says all the right things. Yeah, see that? I was running away and I didn't even need to. So now, I am running on up. We've got actual. This is this is gonna be weird because I think the recorder was getting actual like my voice footage or my voice audio the whole time. So my job is right now. I'm going to check on wolves, and he has already taken those, which is really weird for me. So I'm thinking, all right, he's definitely up here still. So I come in here, blue's gone, and there he is. Now here's what happened. He's AFK. Look at this man. He didn't even notice. Don't ever be AFK. <laughs> like, just don't be dumb. Just, like, just take advantage of the fact that you can see what's happening. Do not be AFK. Don't be AFL. AFK. <laughs> but it's just, it's just, you just gave me first blood for nothing at less than three minutes. Don't be AFK. Just pay attention. Because I don't think he could have taken me, but he definitely could have gotten away. You know what I mean? So whatever, um, and I don't want to take any of the camps down here until I get uh, team at, because it's not worth it. Now I wanted to go in on that misfortune, but I couldn't convince them to let the other two push, so I didn't even try. Um, so now I'm gonna run, and I'm going to what am I doing up here? I guess I'm gonna just go to wolves. Yeah. So because all all my lands are pushing in, you know, like I'm not gonna jump into their tower to dive them at full health at level 2. I know I have a good early game, but come on, guys. Uh, would have loved to go up against that Aurelia, but again, Trinity likes to push. And that's the thing about bronze, is that like it's hard to jungle in bronze, because a lot of your lanes don't understand, hey, if I can't dive, I can wait for my jungler. Like, they don't get that. So, farming out the jungle a little bit, and I probably should have counter-jungled a little more. Um, well, actually, I kind of do it for a second. Yeah, so I ping that I'm coming in. 
Uh, but Akali leaves. So that doesn't work out. Oh, oh, there he is. And he didn't see me like an idiot. And I'm going to fight him. He's going to try and fight me, but I have more damage output this early. And he is dead. Numero dos in, l in four minutes. <laughs> just, just, I mean, here's the thing. When you when you see a Master Yi against you, if you're in bronze, first of all, just be wary because he's easy to play, but also be aware that that means that they're probably not going to be that awesome because they're in bronze, they're trying to work their way out of bronze, which means they're not going to be very mechanically skilled. Like, I know what I'm doing, I'm just still in bronze because I can't really accomplish it that well. Um, so I just took Gromp pretty much just to heal from the smite, um, and then blue buff is going to be pretty quick because I'm Shaco. Get that backstab, get the jack in the box, and then I'll do Deceive to do a little bit more damage here. Yeah, just a pretty quick hit. And then, if I remember correctly, I'm going to go up and take that Scuttle. Yas, yas. I also got my gaming mouse ready, so I have control on one of them. And then I also have 4, 5, and 6. So I can hit control to do any of my upgrades like I didn't just do. And then I can use 4, 5, and 6 for those for those items down there. So I remember them because I never remember to use them. In fact, you'll any skilled League player, especially any skilled Shaco player, will get mad at me this game. Because I never... Like, there are a couple of kills that I give up because I forgot that I have Tiamat to do damage in the beginning. I always forget about that. Uh, so this is where I try and counter. I know Master is still alive, but I'm not afraid of him. And he's gone. So then I go over there to make sure he can't get to me. And then I can't check his Krugs, but I also don't care. Uh, so here's where I'm like, all right, I'm going to go after this Aurelia here. Hopefully Trinomir tries to help. And he does. And then I'm an idiot because, oh, look, Minion Wave. I probably should have done that earlier. Uh, but we get some damage off on her, which is good. Oh, wait, do we get the kill? Oh, I get this kill. Yeah, yes. Yes, before six minutes. We're 306 minutes, kiddos. That is how we operate. And I got 2,000 gold in less than six minutes. Let's go get a bunch of stuff. Such a good, just... And again, I say, I think a lot of this was luck. Because that is one of the best early games I've ever had. Ever. Um, so I grab my uh, Red Smite. I grab my... Tiamat early, which is awesome, so I could go farm some jungles, get ahead faster, just so much good stuff. I, and again, this never happens to me. <laughs> I'm just not this good. Um, I think I just got paired up really well, and I think I think the uh, the early two kills was pretty were very nice for me. Um, so here's where I go try and help out down here, but then I give up on it, and you're gonna see why. Cause I'm like, oh, I can take this. Then I go in. And she starts running. I don't know if she saw me, but I'm not going up against all the Morgana nonsense. That's not happening. Uh, if, if any, if there are a number of champs in this game that I fear. Morgana is one of them. Morgana, but not enough for me to to want to ban her in champ select. Just enough for me to really be cautious against her. Um, so her Lux. God, I hate Lux. For for a very long time, Lux was a perma ban. Because I just couldn't handle it. I'm like, no, I'm not going up against Lux right now. I'm just not. And then this is back from my early days of League, back in Season 4 or whatever, when you had to smite him at the end. I get the same... You get the same health boost. You just kill him right away off the smite. And it's good practice uh, when you're up against the dragon to make sure you can smite the dragon in case you someone tries to steal it. I always try to smite at the end. I feel like that might not be pro play skills, but I feel like it's a good thing to be good at. So here's where I want to try and go up against this Akali, and she's up here, so I try, and I think I fail. No, I get her. I get her here. Yeah. She's dead. Boom. Ah, that's 408 minutes, kids. That is a kill per two minutes. God, just, <laughs> there's no reason for me to doing this well in the game. So I noticed that. I know I'm going to go take Dragon, so I pulled the Shaco trick, because I'm a jerk. Do I deceive in? Yeah, I'm dumb. I should have used the, the plant. It's a good thing I'm watching this. Because I'm picking up on all my idiocies. Mushe clone in there. Um, another thing that I that I know is that the dragon will always target the box first. So if you want to just like tank a hit real quick, use box. Tank a hit, lets you fight a little longer. Yeah, level six, less than eight minutes or less than nine minutes, taking the first dragon. Now it was a cloud drake, so it doesn't really do anything for me. For Shaco, it does a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like if I were to rank the dragons, it's ocean, infernal. Cloud then mountain? 
Maybe mountain then cloud. I don't know. Well, no, nah, mountain then, or cloud then mountain, because you want to be able to move around the map quickly. Um, you really shouldn't be trying to take, ta unless you're really risking stuff, you shouldn't be trying to take towers before too many people are dead. You want to make sure you can safely be in and out of that tower. Um, and uh, I put ocean above infernal, because infernal gives you more damage, but you should be smart. Yeah, I was going to go in and help there, but you did not need it. Yeah, this Master D was definitely helping helping us. Um, which, you know, good stuff. Hey, thanks for the souls. Love it. Uh, then we're going to go top. See what we can't do about this Aurelia. And I think this time she gets away. I don't remember. Oh, no, I don't go in because I see the, the control ward. So I'm going to take that out. Nailed it. Yeah, where am I in gold? God, 1,100. Just good. So what I'm not doing well this game, which I should be doing, is counter jungling. I should be in Master Yi's blue jungle any chance that I get. Um, and at this point, I can take his raptors pretty quickly, too. Like, I should be doing that. Oh, I bail on this one. I want to pop a box and help her out, but I know that I'm not going to be able to help. This is... I learned this from Sky Williams. If you're not going to be able to help, don't. Just don't go in there. You could go in and be like, I'm going to save you. Or, or... Just don't do that. Because your options are this. You're either going to go in there and do what you think you did, or you're going to go in there and fail to do that and then give them an extra kill. Do I get this kill? Oh, I'll get the kill. Get the kill. Bam. Oh, God. Can we talk about the pro plays here real quick? <clears throat> this Shaco right here. God, I love it. Oh, also... Looking at the skins, I think we need to officially say that he's pronounced Shaco. I don't know what Riot says. Now, I will fight this one. Um, X-I-N-J-H-A-O is pronounced Shin Jiao. Like, I'm sorry, like, that's how it's pronounced. And you really can't say much about it. It's a Chinese word. It's a Chinese name. X-I-N is Shin. J-H-A-O is Jiao. That's the way you pronounce it. So, like, you can, you know, Riot can call it whatever they want but they're misinformed. Like, you know what I mean? You... Um, that was just me chasing them away with my clone. I probably didn't have to, but I wasn't going to get a kill off of that. I already had the clone. May as well help out and uh, help Jin push a lane for a second. I'm not going to do too much more with him, though. I don't even know where they are in, in kills or anything. And I can't tab right now. There we go. I didn't see it. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. They're not in crazy good, like, standings, but they're not hurting, so... I wasn't worried about it. Also, we're 12 and 4 right now, and I'm 5 oh, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, shenanigans on the Shaco for the win. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I really want to improve my skills in the game. I really want to get out of bronze. My, my plan for a while was I'll just flex, um, and that way I can get, you know, with a team, do some good stuff, and get out of bronze in something, so that I'm playing at a higher level and learning higher level skills. And then after that, we can work on other stuff. Yeah, that was so that was frustrating. So here's where you, you guys should be mad at me. I should have TM added. That would have taken a lot out of her. And also, that first hit was on a minion. So the deceive damage went to a minion, not to her. So I, that was just poor bronze play on my part. Um, and I probably could have fought her there. I think I like deceive was up. My box was up. I probably could have fought her. I think she's gonna get away. I think my that to chase her down a little bit, but I didn't need to. Um, but again, that you know, and any Shaco players is slamming their head against their keyboard right now, going, "Why, why, why didn't you go after her?" Right now, I'm reading TMX. I realized, like, I realized that I messed it up. I definitely could have gotten that kill. That that was 100% me being dumb, being super, super dumb. So I'm gonna go back, take my red. Um, and see what I can't do with bot lane. Yeah, mid lane's doing pretty well. This Akali was not skilled. Like, that's an 04 right there. You're looking at it. Like, you know. Um, the Akali and the Master Yi definitely are not holding up their end of this. And my top and bottom lane are doing well to suppress there. So, I'm, I'm not super worried about this. And it, I don't want to say that I carried this game, because I probably didn't. It, like, it, I don't know. I just, I just didn't. Like, I didn't really steamroll any of my lanes. I got some kills. Um, and that suppressed the enemy a little bit, I guess. Um, but I don't think you could say that I carried this game in any way. So, so I was waiting for Misfortune to come back in, and there she did, but I decided that the uh, the minion wave was more important at that point. 
So, not upset. Didn't get a kill off of it. Probably could have. Again, not hurt my feelings. Uh, so this is the part of the game, for me anyway, where I'm like, alright, I'm in really good... Oh, except for I get, like, ganked by this Morgana real quick. Deuce. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't need a kill. Again, I fear Morgana. I really do. That stun lasts way too long. Um... But you and I think we get this. Yeah. Psh, down. And it was for me. Thank you. That's a 601, kiddos. Now, here's where I'm an idiot. I'm at full health. I could have helped them take out that Morgana. But instead, we go get Mountain Drake. Yeah. Again, worst two Drakes. Right there. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just whatever. And I was like, hey, you're Tom Kench. You're a tank. Go tank it. But, like, he didn't. So I'm like, fine, I guess I'll use my clone here. But that's what, I mean, you kind of have to be like that with bronze. You have to assume that you're literally playing by yourself and just pray to God that whatever you're doing is fine because you can't d rely on anybody to back you up. Yeah, and then here's where Tom Kench gets really mad at me because, like, I didn't jump in his mouth for that thing. Like, why would I go do that? Yeah, he's about to flame. Click me when I do that. Are you new? He's going to say that. Yeah, there you go. It's like, why would we go in there? Why? I get it. Aurelia's hurting. Or, or Ari, Ari's hurting. But, like, go in and help. We've also got a Morgana down here. Like, there's other things going on. I don't know. Yeah, and then Ari's like, can we finish? And I'm just like, probably. It's, I don't know. It was one of those games where it's like, you know, we're we're over, we're over doubling their kills right now. And we have all of our towers, and they're down two, like, or one, I guess. Like, this is the part of the game, and this is what I like about Shaco, is that, like, I'm not necessarily um, carrying a game here. I'm not necessarily um, steamrolling anybody right now. I'm just demoralizing the enemy. Like, they haven't dealt much damage to our turrets. They are low on kills. They fear me. The second I walk in, they get almost dead. So, like, they're, it's just one of those, what do we do with this situation? You know, I'm, I'm just giving them that feeling of, I literally cannot move. I'm denying all their dragons. Or I have denied all their dragons so far, I guess. Um, yeah, and then I pop in here and help out with this tower. So that's, that's two towers down. And none for us. Vision's good. Like, it's just... We're in a great place, and I love it. Yeah, Shaco. When I was when I was first starting out, Shaco was that one. I was like, I want to play Shaco. I, I just I just want to play Shaco. That's all I want. And I was never like good. Like I couldn't understand him, but like now I get it. You know what I mean? Um. So that is always nice. Also, Ari shouldn't have chased there. Yeah, this is where I bounce. Ari's dead. Ari's dead. Oh, no, wait, and then Tom Kench comes in. Yeah, I probably could have gone in before. I feel kind of bad about it, but, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware. Yeah, and then we just go bounce all over this turret real quick. Tom Kench over here, who was hit, flaming me before, like a D-bag. And tower down. And then I'm trying to think of what I do. I think I go back. I don't. I mean, that's what I would. Oh no, I gotta go take care of this turret. I'm saying, hey guys, let's go take care of this turret. Oh, that's right. I wanted to wait until I could get my dust blade out right. And this is gonna be some good stuff, kiddos. Oh, that's right. Nope. And that is how you gank, kiddos. Oh, God, good stuff. Just, just, I mean, you, it's called punishment, okay? You do not back right out in the open like that. Like, you do not disrespect me like that. You know I'm Shaco. You know I saw you. There were minions there. You knew I could still see you. Like, don't disrespect me like that. You're going to die if you do that. And then Jin got that one. I don't care as much. Oh, and this is where I was freaking out because I was like, "Oh, that's a that's a mid-game Akali that I'm not stoked about." So I popped that and ran. 
It's like if she wants to chase, fine, I'm out. You're God, just such a good game. And then I'm gonna grab my Dusk Blade and not my full boots yet. I wanted to get full boots. Uh but I think I get close. Oh I can't yet, yeah. So yeah, and I'm gonna go grab my rep buff again and go affect the game, I suppose. I don't I don't know how there's not much left in this in this game. Like uh, I don't wanna give anything away, but th this this game does not last very much longer. Um, they're gonna get away. Yeah, they wanna grab um, they wanna grab Harold. Which I don't even remember if I help with or not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Like I understand that this. I understand that I'm still. That this is still a bronze game, and this is not ranked. This is a normal game. Um, but like everybody in the game was bronze. I I know that because of that app that I have. Um, yeah, they're gonna take Baron by themselves. They don't even need me. And um, yeah. So I, I'm well aware that this is just a bronze game, and that there's no reason to be like super stoked about how amazing it went because it's bronze. But. I mean, I'm proud of it. Like, I'm I'm proud of this game. Like, I did a lot of good stuff that I didn't expect myself to be able to accomplish. So, you know. And this is where I'm telling Tom Kenge, hey, you're not a damage source. Don't try to be one. And that's the problem with supports and bronze is because, you know, they all try to be the hero. It's like, you're a support. That's not your job. Yeah, this is where I run. I, I I fear people even before I see them do well. Because I don't know. I, cause I don't know, you know? Like, anybody could be really good and just had a bad first game. Or a, or a bad early game. Anybody could be really bad and had a really good early game. Anybody could not know how to accomplish things, you know what I mean? Like, there are a lot of different options as to how this game can play out. I don't want to be the guy who's an idiot for undercompensating I guess you know like I don't it's not why I'm here so yeah uh, we're just we're just pushing out and I saw Master Yi down there I didn't really care because we're pushing out we're being a threat oh, apparently I did care never mind I guess I wanted to cut him off on his way back but that does not matter because if you'll see down at the bottom left they surrendered yes and there you go kiddos that is how you shako in bronze. Here's how it works. Demoralize your enemy. That's basically all you do in bronze. Whoever can tilt the other team first is the one who wins. Uh, yeah, Ari was cool. So yeah, uh, that was my uh, that was my bronze game, and I leveled up off of that. Kick Boote, JP Capsule wasn't that good, but whatever. And. Uh, you're going to see my irritation in a second because um, I got an A. I went highest kills, lowest deaths, tied for highest assists, highest gold, and I got an A. Like, that was frustrating. Anyway, great game. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate you sticking around. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll talk to you later. Deuces!